Welcome back to The Express. Food truck mania hit Vancouver earlier this year, and despite our sometimes fickle foodie seat, the craze isn't going anywhere, except maybe to move the truck at the end of the night. Now, you want to know what the contributing factors are to have food truck success? Well, we're finding out at Arturo's Mexico to go. We use cilantro, tomatoes, fresh mangoes to make all this us. Arturo's Mexico to go produces fresh, authentic Mexican fare for hungry Vancouverites. This business on wheels is a dream come true for the Spanish-born, Mexican-raised owner who always wanted to be an entrepreneur. The opportunity came, a friend of mine called me and they said, oh, there's there going to be permits for the city of Vancouver to open a food cart. And I said, wow, that's a good chance. And I saw Cordova and how waterfront, and I said, that's the one I want. I applied, it was for the lottery, it was a lottery. So I won the spot. A little bit of luck, years of experience in the food business, and a passion for Mexican cuisine made for a winning food truck formula. Some reason I knew the menu, I designed the menu, I said, they're gonna like this one. This menu, right? Mexican food is a lot of fresh, a lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables. Some tomatoes and jalapeno. Okay, done. It's really healthy, it's delicious, so I think it's perfect for Vancouver. I'm gonna try the uh, salmon tostada, the special. Yeah, right away. I love my work, I love the job, I love the business. I work with the office uh, schedule too, office people schedule, so I don't have to work on Sundays or Saturdays, so that's a nice bonus too. It's a great business. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be delicious. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. He goes on the side. There's a jicama salad. At Arturo's Mexico to go, there's a fixed menu of about a dozen choices, plus ever-changing daily specials, so there's tons to choose from. It's a little flavor of sunny Mexico in the heart of chilly downtown Vancouver. Salmon tostada. I always dream to have a business in Vancouver, in downtown Vancouver, but I never saw myself doing this, so this is like a, you know, came from heaven. In Vancouver, I'm Kendall Harris for The Express. Arturo's Mexico to go truck is parked on the corner of West Cordova and Howe Street. You can get the full menu online at arturostogo.com and yes, they do have gluten-free options. Now you're watching our Express special and we have another food cart success story up next. Ken Ogata's family owned and operated restaurants for as long as he could remember. And although he's a hairdresser by trade, he did eventually decide to open up his own restaurant. One on wheels. Uh, spicy cake. Yeah, you're so great. Yeah, and I guess uh, 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 add the Japanese pork. Japanese food village in Richmond is serving up the goods to a hungry lunch crowd. From steamy ramen soup with all the fixins to rice cones fresh from a sushi master, this is the city's newest hot spot. It's good stuff. Yeah, it's great. But the food village is in the most unlikely place. Located at Elmbridge Way and Gilbert Road in Richmond, three food trucks serve Japanese comfort food seven days a week. My family's been always in the restaurant industry. I knew I was going to get into food someday, but I didn't want to just open another restaurant. So I thought, well, what better way than to have it on wheels? We knew that we wanted to cater to cars being able to park and stuff like that too, so we wanted ample parking. And in Richmond, unfortunately, a lot of places are being developed right now. So empty lots are come, hard to come by. And uh, I noticed this location, I decided just to go for it. It's really good, yeah. Um, I tried the spicy pork noodle one. It's really, really good. It's just uh, another opportunity to try something different here in town. And I don't live in the area, so it's just uh, yeah, it's a unique experience. How did you hear about Japanese Food Village? I read a newspaper, Richmond News, and so my first time to come here because during my lunch break, so I think it's also the weather is perfect. All dishes are made fresh every day and customers are willing to try different things, including the specialty, Tenku Bundanyaki. It's a grilled fritter, essentially, with uh, seafood and vegetables inside. Can I try the original? Um, the steam? <laughs> The middle one is a hand cone and uh, we didn't want to make it so it was just another sushi place. So we made it sort of like Subway style. Nori, sushi rice, tuna sashimi, 
Ken says he's been lucky. He hasn't had to spend much on advertising. And mail. Yeah. 40, 50 pence. Okay. A lot of our customers are actually quite adventurous because I guess they hear it from their friends or family who's been to us. Thank you. Maybe they were the weary ones, but you know, uh, when once you hear it from a friend, you kind of trust their word on it. A lot of people are worried about, yeah, eating in a trailer, but I think it's, it's great. Ken built the food trailers himself and plans to expand Japanese food village. I can't yet say what it's going to be because I want it to be a surprise. There is a dessert one coming, yes. Out to lunch in Richmond, I'm Melanie Panetto for The Express. Kenku has moved, so if you want to try their famous takoyaki, you can find them on Charles Street in Richmond. You're watching our Express special on the Metro Vancouver food cart scene. And we've got more tastes and some tips coming up. The, um, the sockeye salmon. After the break, Bistro the Rolling Bistro. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that's good. The Express, we are your local voice. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... Hairstyling and color services for Shaw TV, provided by The Lounge Hair Studio. LoungeHairStudio.com Welcome back to our Express Food Cart Special. There's lots of buzz about the street meat scene. The Food Network has a show you may have seen called Eat Street. Season 2 features 52 vendors in 20 cities across North America. The show has its own app and you can also get recipes from the trucks at their website. Some local trucks have been featured. Roaming Dragon, Taco Fino, Re-Up Barbecue and of course Japa Dog. Another one that was featured when it lived on the Sunshine Coast was Bistro. And lucky for us, the Rolling Bistro found its way to Vancouver. Oh, that looks beautiful. Thank you, wonderful. Bistro the Rolling Bistro produces fresh, restaurant-quality fare that you wouldn't expect from a food truck. I'm wondering about the... Um the sockeye salmon. Oh, we make everything a la minute, so everything is done as soon as you order it. We make it, nothing is sitting, it's raw ingredients cooked fresh. Mm, oh wow, that's good. Uh, right now we have Fanny Bay oysters that are uh, panko breaded, uh, they're poached first. We've got a albacore tuna carpaccio. Um, we are also, today we're running um, salt spring mussels, uh, which is talkie mushroom uh, cream sauce with sweet potato fries. Um, the menu varies depending on, you know, what's available, you know, uh, fresh and local. Well, I've had most things on the menu, but I do have a few favorites. The response has been phenomenal. Street food in general is extremely popular right now across the world. Um, it's taken off dramatically in Vancouver. I'm a big fan of food trucks in general, but I have to say that Fistro is my all-time favorite. There's an extensive menu and an ever-changing daily fresh sheet, so there's tons to choose from. Bonsai prawns are one of my favorite dishes, and I'm not the only fan of this food truck. I had the Fanny Bay oysters, and they were fantastic. Fanny Bay is a local place just on Vancouver Island. They were so fresh and delicious, and the sauce was impeccable. It is beautiful food, absolutely worth coming for. Came here today because I heard all about it. My son came down the other day with his kids and they all raved about Fistro. One halibut, one prana prosciutto, one tuna carpaccio, one ceviche. Forget it, okay. The, the most rewarding part is literally just the teamwork that we built, This, you know, the little core team of people we've got. And then beyond that, it's just the customer base that we've developed. So yeah, it's very rewarding. Tuna carpaccio, I'm gonna get that next time. In Vancouver, I'm Kendall Harris for The Express. You can go to Fistro.ca to get the full menu. And yes, once again, there are gluten-free options. The Rolling Bistro is parked at the bottom of Thurlow Street, right by Jack Pool Plaza, which happens to also be right next to the Shaw Tower, so it's often my lunch hot spot too. You're watching The Express, and we've got more on today's spotlight on the Vancouver food scene. Taste of Yale Town is on now. In its seventh year, this community-based event donates a portion of the profits to the Greater Vancouver Food Bank. Combine your love of food, wine, and great company while supporting the Arts Club Theatre Company. In this cooking class, let renowned Vancouver chefs inspire you with their passion and expertise. Indulge in decadent chocolates in 150 events throughout the Lower Mainland. 
Enjoy gourmet chocolates with wine, scotch, and tea pairings. Savor the sweet, smooth texture of chocolate while learning more about its benefits for health. To read local reviews or to add your own about food carts you've tried, you can go to VancouverStreetEats.ca. You can also go to StreetFoodApp.com to download a free app for your iPhone. And we'd love to hear what you thought about today's show. And you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, or send us an email, theexpress at shaw.ca. I'm Johanna Ward. Thanks for watching The Express, only on Shaw TV. Wow.